All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here, and the wokeness is here yet again. But thank God for people like Jesse Lee Peterson, who have zero tolerance for foolishness. And I'd like to put myself in that same category, especially over these past few years. But I'll save my perspective to the end. Let's get it popping. Uh, there was a woman by the name of Abdullah. I think Malene, what's her first, you haven't heard of her? Mm -hmm. What's her first name? Her name is Melina. Melina. Um, Abdullah. Abdullah. Dr. Dr. Melina Abdullah. Yeah, such an evil woman. Mm -hmm. Why would they let a woman like that teach at a university and corrupt other black students who are coming through there with that kind of wickedness? Well, um, you ever heard of her? I know, I know Melina very well. She's my sister. She is. Oh, she's, you know she's her? My, she's my former chair. She's your sister? Well, yes, my sister's sister. She's my sister because. Oh, your black sister's sister. My sister. black sister. Oh. Why would you, do you associate with a woman like that? As often as I can. But she's so evil. Aren't you concerned? Do you have you about met her? her? I, she's uh, the co-founder of Black Lives I Matter. I guess my question is, oh, why, why uh -oh. are you calling her evil? <laughs> because the organization is evil, so evil produces evil, and good produces good, right? Well, why, but what's facts. your impression of evil. that organization and oh, that okay. woman? My impression of Melina, of, of Black Lives Matter as a whole, I think that they are um, they're doing good work. I think it's necessary. It's not for everybody. Um, I'm not a member, so to speak, for Black Lives Matter, but I do what I can. Are you a Christian? I am. And you agree with those people? Oh, Melissa, do you? I believe, I believe that Black Lives Matter. Do you agree with those people? All lives I matter. Black Lives Matter. How about with Black Lives, this is Black Lives Matter organization, you agree with them? I don't know everything about the intricacies of their philosophies. They're evil. They're evil. But, I, but I have not come across any evil. I've worked with... Some of what the do national we want leadership. Your eyes closed. Uh, Pink is blanket. What do we want? Dead cops. Is well, that evil? So I think that part of that is not. That's not necessarily like the leadership. That that when you have a movement, but they have to take responsibility. They, they do have to take responsibility for it. But if they're asking for dead cops or pigs in a blanket, then that's a reaction from the community. No, but. It, that's what Formed they're by pushing. Black Lives Matter. Formed by Black Lives Black Lives Matter may come and they may help to galvanize these groups. But individuals are going to say what they, they can't be held responsible for every single individual opinion. Is that evil? What is what evil? What do we want? Pins in the blanket. Dead cops and screaming for I that. I mean, I think to ask for to anybody. Chant that kind of stuff. I think any murder of innocent life is evil. So how about chanting, what do we want? Pins in the blanket. What do we want? Dead cops. Is that evil? I have never heard that chant. You, come on. I haven't. You have heard I have not, that. I have never heard of, uh -uh. I have never heard I'm surprised of people. you're switching on me. I'm, I'm being honest you with have, you. You never heard chanting in the street. We what want do dead we want? Cops? Dead cops. No, I have in never New heard York, that. In New York and places like that? I haven't. Y'all think she's if lying? If it's true, what I'm saying, yeah. is that evil? Um, I think it's misguided. Evil? Is it no. evil? I don't think it's, no. I don't. Is it evil. love? It's not love. So it has to be evil, mm. right? <laughs> Maybe it's indifference. Uh-uh, that's evil. How about if yeah. white people would chant, well, what, no what do we want, blacks in the blanket? What do we want, dead blacks? Would yeah. that be evil? It oh. would not be love. Would it be evil? <laughs> it wouldn't be right. Would it be evil? For white people to chant that yeah, they want to see black, black bodies dead in the street, that's pretty evil. So when, black, when the Black Lives Matter people did it, was it evil? Well, when black people lower ourselves to, we're, when, we, when we begin to adopt the mentalities that, are, that have already been oppressive to us, we don't need to exchange one oppression for the other. So in other words, I don't need to see dead cops to make me feel better about, or, or that's not going to even the playing field for the fact that police officers have killed black bodies. Is it for evil me, when they chant that, Black Lives Matter people? I don't think that it's, I wouldn't call it evil. Amazing. Because I think that it's, it's, it's reactionary. I think it's mob. Um, it, it, it is reactionary, and, and maybe but they do want to see. But not evil to call for the death of cops. I think it's I think it's misguided. But not evil. I mean, I hear you where you trying to you want to put, force me into the corner. It's definitely misguided, and you have to have the same standards. Keep that same energy. Keep it. Come on now. You said if white people were chanting blacks in a blanket, then it's evil. It's not love. So what's the, it's the same thing. It's evil. It's not love. All lives matter. Blue lives, white lives. We all bleed red. Y'all have heard me say it time and time again. We came from the same ancestors, Adam and Eve. 
What? Come on now, man. If you call yourself a Christian, know that you're my sister. I'm your brother. No matter what my pigmentation is, yours watching through this camera lens, we all are the same people and we all need to love. That should be at the forefront. Not all this division, not all this fake oppression, not all this nonsense, but here we go. Here we go again. No, I right? just want to hear the what saying you, that, that Pacific question. But Black is Lives Matter is more than just the people. If, but if people are chanting and asking for dead bodies, then it doesn't have love. That's really I'm all that I can for say. Common sense. Is that evil? I just think it's wrong. It's how about evil? <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. Is it it's evil? not kind. Is it evil? It's not nice. How about evil? I wouldn't use that word. So are you saying no, it's not evil? I would say I wouldn't use that word. You wouldn't use the word evil? I have to know the context. If the white people were chanting, what do we want, dead black cops, would that dead be evil? Dead black cops. Would that well, be Well, that's evil? very different. That's not what the black lives. If they would, white, black lives matter, hate white cops. If so it, well, if see, white people were chanting, what do we want, dead cops, referring to the black cops, would that be evil? Let me say this. If in this, in this, um, what do you call this, hypothetical situation, that well, real life, reality. white people um, have been experiencing the type of um, actions from the police that black folks have experienced here in this country for all they this do. time, then if they were making that chant, then it would be, it's, it's a different world. So it's, I don't really deal too much in hypotheticals. We have plenty of of reality, so I don't know how it would respond, but I know that I have heard plenty of white groups who are chanting, who are who have chanted um, very evil things about So it is black evil for white people do it about blacks. And black folks don't say evil things about white people. Cops, stop painting this false narrative, man. Cops aren't dishing out favoritism cards. If you messing up, you messing up. It don't matter what you, what you look like. If you put yourself in a situation to escalate a regular routine traffic stop, you put that cop's life in danger. It don't matter if he's a black or a white cop. He's going to give it to you. Like he, He's got to stand up for himself. And white folks are, what are you talking about? What are you actually saying right now? White folks are arrested just as much as black people, if not more than black people. And and there's there's evil seeds all throughout society. Sprinkle it wherever you want. Like a, a couple bad cops will exist, just like there's a couple bad folks like this. No matter what you look like, evil is evil. Call it what it is. Give it to you straight. Give it to you blunt. If it's not love, it's, it's not based with the good intentions. It doesn't have good moral values, not based on a godly foundation, no. Nothing like that. that when they, it's, it, you know, let me put it like this. It is, what is the word? It is without love. And you, you, you use the word evil, but I think that that is. Um, Spiteful, hateful. Too narrow. I think it's, and this is why I, I talk about like, the way. like maybe Compl complexity. The that there's just more to it than to say, because they said that that makes them evil. It's not that simple. Yes, it is for me. It's evil. But I got to ask you a real quick question. And and let me just say this, please. May I? Yeah. That that Molina Abdullah is a is a is a great leader. She is a good heart, a good spirit. She's a coward. And I've never seen her. Be, I've never seen her express any cowardice towards no, anyone she, anywhere. We tried to get her on the show. She's too afraid to come on. That's not why coward. she's not here. That's not why she's Tell her I said, you know her. I know her. Tell her she's a coward. I don't need to tell her that. Tell she knows her I that. Said it. Well, she'll see. Maybe she'll see it. She's but, an evil, nasty but she's, coward. She's none of those things. No, she's. But oh, I can understand again. why she would want to come and have this conversation. I know a coward when I see a coward. No, she's Dr. already Dr. Abdullah been... Melina yeah. is a coward. Well, he said, check. That meets all the criteria. Yeah. She may say the same about you. But I face her anytime, That's anywhere, and how, anytime. But cowardice is not necessarily just being able to sit and have a conversation. That's not, that isn't, that's not the intent of it. she doesn't even have the nerve to do that. Well, maybe she doesn't have the desire. When it is, you have to agree with her for her to come in, right? If you don't, don't agree. If you're a leader, you're not afraid of any any opponent, any adversary. Like if, if you if you truly stand firm in your beliefs and, and all the things that, that you're, you're pushing, then you have no problem talking it out with somebody else. You have no problem having that civil dialogue and not getting emotional and, and dishing out some logic. Now, why won't you sit down with Jesse Lee Peterson? I would love to see that interview. Now, I, I'm trying to base this in love, but there's only so much love you could dish out to a, a an organization like Black Lives Matter. When when you see black lives not caring about black lives, they move into white communities. They have all these ritzy, fancy mansions and things of that nature. They promote abortion. They promote uh, no fathers in the home. Like they, they, It's divided. It's, it's divisive. It's evil. That's what that is. So I can't have love when it comes to an organization like that. Do I believe Black Lives Matter? A hundred thousand percent. Do I believe white lives and all lives across the board matter?
hundred percent. I love y'all. I'll pray for you no matter where you're at in your journey because I'm not perfect. I've sinned in my past. You sinned in your past. None of us are perfect. We're all striving just to get better each day or you should be and stop pointing the finger at everybody else, blaming everybody else for your circumstances. No matter where you're at, no matter what you look like, you can go out and achieve success. But I got to ask you this. Okay. Um, when will the social justice warrior people know that enough is enough? When they say, okay, white people, y'all have given us all that we want. Probably we never, unfortunately. What, what will have to happen for them to know That's that? That's a good question. I don't know what, what, what we know. And we talk about, I talk about this all the time in my class. How do you know when, we, when you achieve justice? Right. It's very subjective. It's individual. Some people may feel that justice has already been served. Some people feel that, that, um, that there's nothing left to fight for. But... I think that when we know, if black people we'll know. were raised by good parents, they had a father and a mother in the home who were good examples, who taught them to work, to be responsible, to treat others as they treat themselves, would they be crying at social justice stuff? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think it's important. I think that this is what America. This is what America is. No, America is about. It, it is. It is founded on revolution. It's founded on 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 um, rebellion but not against white people founded this country right and created the greatest country in the world they didn't mean for the blacks to be carrying on like this i know i know that's what's so great about it but, because no, but they're so destructive but people, the, the plan have you noticed that black people only purpose on life is to destroy and not to build they mm. destroy neighborhoods they destroy families each other they destroy white people you can let them into a decent neighborhood they are destroy. You really? let them into a decent white university. They destroy. Mm. You let them on your job. They destroy. They <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I do yeah, not. Yeah, you I do. have no clue what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I don't. I know you know. We I gotta have to have coffee because you know. <laughs> So you mean to tell me this lady right here is a teacher? I promise you I don't want that credit. I promise you if I can find an excuse to play hooky from that class, oh, I'm there. I'm, matter of fact, I'm going straight to the to the advisor, to the counselor. Get me out of there, out of, out of that course, however means necessary. Because John 8 verse 32 says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So somewhere down the line, maybe not right now, she's walking an evil road and, and she knows it. You could tell she is completely aware of it. But down the line, I pray that she wakes up. I pray that she sees the destruction that black Black Lives Matter has unleashed. Black Lives Matter until it comes down to, to facing your neighbor, whether it's a man or woman in Chicago and, and they got a gun, they, they got some fentanyl, they got whatever it may be that's, that's in front of them that they want to take from you, then black lives don't matter. They're killing each other every single day. Like, when are we going to start taking care of all people and start going into these communities and really taking care of the people that you say you care about? Lift people up. Lift society up. Stop going down there bashing all the white men, bashing all the whatever somebody else looks like. Lift somebody up. Show them that you can make a way in this world, that there's tons of opportunities opportunities out there for you and stop playing this victim and oppression card because it's not real man it, it could be used to you know go out spread the truth that america is the best place in the world to achieve prosperity and peace of mind if you have the discipline and consistency to go out and make that thing happen to go out there and, and uplift and, and make a positive impact on the world stop focusing on the outward appearance and past mistakes by folks we all have messed up we all have sinned and handle what's in front of you take care of your family love all the people that you come in contact with and most importantly accept Christ as Lord and Savior because he is the perfect example to ever walk this earth voluntarily took on the cross God sent his, his one and only son for he so loved the world didn't wipe us clean he gave us another chance so when you look to Jesus when you're baptized in his name then all this this minuscule made up minute uh, issues that people create and push and are making money off of none of that stuff is, is relevant because you're so focused on that narrow path to righteousness to salvation that you could care less about what somebody else looks like about what they say about what happened in the past it's irrelevant because because you're focused on what's in front of you and you're focused on loving God and loving other people. And you may disagree, and I'd love to hear why in my comment section. Remember, you could agree, disagree, you could not have an opinion at all, and we can still be civil and respectful in the comment section and having these discussions. These conversations need to be had. Whether you're on, on the complete opposite end of the spectrum or not, we need to sit down and share our opinions and ideas so we can really see what reality is and try to move forward in a positive direction and start getting back to a godly foundation, start getting back to what our find, founding fathers Fathers really made this country on the biblical values and, and scripture got us up out of slavery because that love because that hospitality because that seeing what evil was going on and seeing people as property we we knew wasn't the way and God works it all together for the greater good for those that look to him so if you keep looking at him it's going to be just fine you're not worried about all this stuff that's falling by the wayside
wayside. Take in, take in a deep breath, breathe in life, and keep on moving, man. Stop focusing on all these things that are deteriorating, that are irrelevant, and they're not moving society in a direction at all other than down in the dumps. But I don't want to turn this into too long of a tangent. I have the tendency to go on long rant. Some of y'all like that, some of y'all don't. But if you like this sort of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all future videos, whether it's funny, informative, whatever it may be. Shout out to JLP and all the people that make his uh, platform possible and using his his truth and biblical foundation to awaken these people, to, to show the masses what's really going on, exposing the lies and delivering truth. That's what the world needs a whole lot more of. Blunt, straight to the point, two plus two, simple mindset, common sense, and logic. That's what will wake up this world and guide them onto a godly path, hopefully. I'm sure praying for it, no matter what you look like, where you come from, what, what side you're on right now, I'm praying that you find the light, you find Jesus Christ. But outside of that, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to my wife's Etsy store. All the clothes you see me wearing are made by her. Linked in the description section. This says faith over everything. She's got a bunch of different Christian, American, all sorts of designs, multitude of colors, big, big sizes, petite teat, bleach option, no bleach, long sleeve, hoodie, whatever you need. She's got it over there. So make sure you go check that out. Till next time. I love y'all. I'm praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.